Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Andrea Ali and in today's video I'm going to review and also create a look with the new mauve collection Making Mauves from Colourpop. This is not something that I normally do, like I don't do reviews. Colourpop is really not a brand that I'm that I've been very focused on. However, I received this in PR and uh, I'm not an affiliate. I don't, I'm not sponsored by the brand by any means. Uh, however, I thought that these colors uh, from the mauve collection are the type of colors that a lot of you would love. And quite frankly, after I've been swatching the colors, I realized that they would actually look good on a lot of people. Now, this is a collection that has seven products. And although it's ColourPop, you know, it has a great price. Is it really worth uh, getting the whole collection or just certain items? So this is what this video is all about. I'm gonna talk about this collection. I'm gonna apply it, really dig into this whole collection and try every single product, give you a review, and also give you tips and tricks on how to use a nine pan eyeshadow palette. Let, let's just get into it. Now this collection has an eyeshadow palette with a very pretty packaging. I don't know if you can see this. It's like a three-dimensional situation. Look how pretty this is. And like I said before, these colors are just amazing for a lot of skin tones, even though they are more on the cool side than on the warm side. And then we have two blushes. This is the first one and the second one two eyeshadow toppers and then two lip glosses this whole set all of these products retail at 49 dollars now i'm going to unbutton my shirt just my sleeve okay just my sleeve i'm going to do some swatches for you guys all right i'm going to start with the color r and r it looks so much more pink on the skin than it does in the pan this one is r and r the second color is Solitaire, Big Mauves. Then we have the sparkly ones. Ooh, isn't this pretty? This is by Coastal. Next one is A La Mode. Then we have Mauve on top. Oh, one. this one glides like a dream. I'm going to continue with Tongue Tied. This is a beautiful mauve -y. Obviously, all, all have like mauve tones, but this one has little like, I don't know if you can tell. It has like blue reflex. Can you guys tell? Next one, we have Marque. Again, it's not completely matte. It has like a super soft shimmer to it. The last one is Big Fig. Not the best placement. But here are all the colors on my tanned skin because I'm wearing a self-tan today. In every single one of my videos, I do my base. Uh, but I thought that in this one, I should just focus on these products. So I've already applied my base, eyeshadow, eyebrow. So I'll put everything in my description box. Uh, so you have it, including my earrings and also my top. Okay, let's get started with the eyes. Okay, so for this palette, I mean, you could mix them the way you want. But if you want like a matchy, perfect match eye look, and if you're a beginner, you don't know how to use this kind of palettes this one can be a look the first three color one two three could be a look the second row could be a look and then you've got a third look right here again i'm not saying like this is oh the only way you should be using these but in case you have no idea this is how i suggest you to do you could apply the lightest color as your base you know like all over the lid you could apply this one right here for example, in the crease and this one on the mobile lid. Just so you guys have an idea about what kind of looks you could create with this. The same with this. Uh, this is more intense. I would say it's more for nighttime. And then this one right here is more like a cocktail, I would say, kind of a look. The third one. Why? Because this topper right here it sparkles so beautiful. I think this is probably my favorite color from the whole palette. It's very, very special. The first color that I take from the pan is this one right here. It's called Solitaire. And I take it with an Asylum Nuri brush and apply it 
and the crease and at the outer corner. This is a great color to be applied all over the lid, mascara and call it a day. I have to tell you this color looks so much warmer in the pan than actually on the skin. If your crease is not as obvious as mine is, just tilt your head back and you will find your crease. You will find this little depth right here. That's where you want to apply the eyeshadow. And then a little bit at the outer corner. Then I'm going to take this color right here. This is called Big Fig. This is a Huda Beauty Smoke and Smudge brush. Now, I don't know about you, but this second color, I think it's really, really pretty. You want to use a flat brush when you're applying your eyeshadow on the mobile lid, especially if it's a matte eyeshadow. All right, then I'm going to take this Sigma L04 brush and grab Marque. It's this color right here. Now, it looks pretty dark in the pan, right? So first, I like to apply at the base of the lashes. We've got some fallouts right here including one of my lashes i could literally stop apply mascara and call it finished makeup because this is so pretty look how nice it is on this eye just like this with nothing else on but i want to show you more colors so we're going to continue again with this tiny little brush i just sort of deepen out this crease if you have deep set eyes and if it bothers you maybe you know this is the last thing that you want to do deepen out that crease but if your crease is not very accentuated this actually looks pretty good it's going to frame the eye really pretty and then with the same brush applying that same eyeshadow at the outer corner but I have to tell you, I would have expected this darker color to be even darker on the eyes. It's an easy palette for a beginner, but for this color in particular, you know, because it's the, the only dark color in the pan, I would have expected a little bit more saturation, like more depth. Now I'm taking that first Asylum Nuri brush and just blend the edges, make it softer. Taking the same color, and apply it on the lower lash line. Guys, I'm telling you, this brush is just so good for detail work. And it's supposed to be for lips, but whatever. When I apply eyeshadow on the lower lashes, my aim is to have a darker color right here and then to sort of create a gradient. Even if I'm using just one color, I make sure that the most of it, it's applied at the outer corner like this. You know what's left i apply it on the rest of the lash line then i take that nori brush and blend it i actually like the eye much more without the topper i was actually using this one this is called mauve on top i just received this palette and it looks like i've been using it for two months now this color mauve mauve on top i'm just taking it with my finger this is such a good color you guys now with my finger, I apply it in the middle of my eyelid. Make sure you don't do this when applying this eyeshadow because actually the, the mobile lid is much bigger if you are relaxed. If I'm doing this, look, you see it goes all the way up the, the crease and also the, the mobile lid. Now, the only thing that I have to say about this uh, eyeshadow and it's not the only one that does this. It makes my, my lids look very creased, like incredibly creased. It is still very, very pretty. And I've only applied one layer. Now I'm taking this tiny Hakuhodo brush. A lot of brands do the same, but it's a must in my brush collection, this type of brush. So with this, I'm taking by Coastal, I think it's how you pronounce it, this color right here, which is very similar with the one that I've just used on the lid, but it's a, just a bit warmer. And that's what I'm gonna apply on the inner corner. Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. A lot of people are actually afraid of pinks on the eyes. But the truth is, as long as you pair it with black mascara, it's actually going to look amazing. Like a lot of people tell me, but pinks and reds and mauves make my eye look very, very tired and make me look like I was crying. Well, use a lot of mascara or use a little bit of black right at the base of your lashes. If that happens, you will see that it changes everything. On the lower lashes, I'm applying 
MAC Extended Plate Chica Black Lash. You want to grab the lash in between the bristle of the wand and just do back and forth like zigzag motions. But first you gotta grab it, make sure it's there. And then do 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 do. Now the eyes are done unless you want to apply falsies, which I'm still not sure if I'm going to apply today. However, I wanted to show you the two toppers. I love these Super Shock shadows from Colourpop. These are such amazing formula. Not these ones in particular, like I have two of them in my kit. I can't remember right now the name, but I use them all the time. However, I found that these are kind of similar with the colors in the pan. This one, this is the bloomer. Let me show you what this looks like. Not bad, right? Not bad. And then the other one, it's day tripping. And I have to tell you, this day tripping, it's not my favorite. You know, it's that kind of eyeshadow that has a lot of reflexes. Pinks and blues, a little bit of yellow I see, like everything. And then all together create this. Now you can see that they're not bad. I like the colors in the pan much more than I love these. Now let's try the blushes. Let me show you both of them side by side. I cannot say I'm crazy about these uh, colors. I would definitely go more towards this one. I like blushes that have that freshness, that give you that vivid look, you know? This one is Catch My Vibe. And I've tested these earlier on my hand. You, you won't be able to see much with blushes. That's why I don't do a swatch. This is like very, very potent in terms of color. It has a lot of color. So make sure that you use a tiny little bit. Uh, I know that blush is something that a lot of people are staying away from and you should really not like just experiment. I'm taking it with the Sonia G classic cheek brush. This is part of a set that I love. You wanna apply it on the apple of the cheek. The apple of the cheek is the round part of the cheek, right? The placement of the blush is not the same for everybody. But maybe this is going to look good on you too. Okay, not bad at all, actually. Really, really love the color. Now the two lip glosses, they're very similar color. And I'm actually going to apply them both. The first one is Figgy With It. So although this might look like a um, gloss, it feels... And it goes on like a, a liquid balm, if that does make any sense to you. It doesn't feel like a gloss and it doesn't apply like a gloss. Uh, I'll be honest with you, this is not my favorite formula. This usually like goes in here at the corner of my mouth. Mm, I'm not crazy about this. Like I said, it's, it's more of a balm. Maybe I've applied too much. The other one is Check In. This is a little bit lighter. It has the same formula. Wait, uh, I can't even talk. Maybe you have to apply like a tiny, tiny, tiny little bit. But even with that, it still has that stickiness to it. I'm not a huge fan of, I'll be honest with you. We have to give credit to the color. The color is a beautiful color. It's like an everyday uh, kind of a lippy that you could pull off like any time during the day. All right, ladies, this is the final look. I have to tell you, this is not bad. This does not look like I've been applying a uh, full face with, you know, 40, well, not full face, but almost with like $49. I have to tell you for the price, this whole collection is amazing. I know that a lot of you would love these colors. These, like I said, they work with so many skin tones. Uh, especially if you are into like mauves uh, for green eyes, for brown eyes, for hazel eyes, this will look amazing, amazing. Obviously, you know, you have to love these colors. Now the eyeshadow palette only, this is $14. And it's actually the only thing that I would recommend you guys. All the other products, I think that they're just okay. Of course, for the price you get, you get a good amount of products. However, I know that a lot of you are into quality and not much into quantity. I've noticed that a lot of you are willing to pay a little bit more to have good quality products. But if I were to choose one product 
that I recommend out of this whole collection, it would be the eyeshadow. You've got nine colors, it's easy to travel with, and it's $14. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you have products that you would want me to review. You guys know that this is not like my specialty. Did you see those swatches? I know, I'll get better. Uh, but I love to do these, so let me know in the comments if I should do more. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel if you haven't subscribed already. Follow me on Instagram. I am posting a lot on my stories, workouts, skincare, makeup, clothes. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! I mean, I can't believe that I have to do this all by myself. I suck at this. I'm good. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm okay. That was not an earthquake. That's the last thing we need while we're home. <laughs> you need the mask, gloves, and disinfectant. Coronavirus. Spread the germs. I sneezed. I didn't cough. Like I said, it was just an allergy.